Hello, welcome. Under this, let's take some few minutes to explain the concept of the distributive property under binary operation. If you are new, consider to subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let's get to it. So if A, B, and C are three members of a given set of real numbers and the operation as the binary operation star and delta are defined over S, then a star is distributive over the triangle or the delta if A star into bracket B star C equals to A star B triangle A star C. We are only distributing the A, which is going to be the star, over that of what? The delta. Let me call it delta for this. It's a triangle. So this is all that we are going to do. We know this under normal addition multiplication uh, criteria. So the first operation is what we say is distributive over the second one. So the moment the answer you get on your left hand side is not equal to the answer from the right, we can say that the operation, the first operation, is not distributive over the second one. All right. So this is a question here. Two binary operations, the star and the delta, are defined when a star b is 2ab. That is twice the product of the two numbers. And a delta b is a plus b plus 2 for all real numbers. So we have to evaluate first four star into bracket 5 delta 6. Then we have to also evaluate the 4 star, the 5 delta 4 star what? The 6. So here we are only trying to see whether we can have a distributive property. So let's see how we can do that. All right, so let's take the first one. We know that A star B equals to what? To AB. So now let's take the first one, which is 4... So now let's take the bracket first. It's going to be 5 delta 6. Per this definition, it will be the first number 5, second number 6 plus 2. And this will give us 11 plus what? 2 is 13. So now all of this is now going to be operated on this to be 4 star what? 13. Because this is 13. Now, the 13 have a different operation with 4. So, it's going to be 2 times 4 times what? 13. And, you know, this will multiply this to give us 4 times 10 is 40. The 4 times 3 is 12. So, we have 52. 52 times uh, 2 will give us what? 104. So, this is going to be... 104. We are done with the first part. That is all we are asked to do. Then let's take the second question. So let's take the first bracket, which is 4 star 5. Star operation is going to be 2A B. We know 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 2 will give us what? 40. So, taking the second bracket, second bracket which is what? 4 star 6. Following the same definition, it will be 2 into bracket, first term, 4. Second term, 6. 4, 6 will give us what? Uh, 24. 24 times this will be 48. So, we have 48. So now what do we do? We know that the second term 
the bracket we took is just for the star in the star but there is a delta in our calculation now we are going to pick the first bracket which is now 40 operated on delta second bracket which is what 48 so per the definition of a delta the first term 40 plus the second term 48 plus what 2 that is what the definition is saying first second plus 2 and I know this plus this will give us what 50 50 plus that is what 90 so now this is from the second question and uh, this is from the first question we can see they are the same so now our task is to what can we say about the first and the second word question and I can see that 104 and 90 are not what the same so what can we say we can say that the operation we are saying that because the first four star five delta six is not equals to Our conclusion is drawn from this assertion that the first part is not equal to the second part. So if the answer we have here, 90, happen to be equal to the answer here, then we can say that the first operation, which is what? The star is distributive over the second operation. I believe the concept is clear. Good. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. For us to get interactive, like, share. Bye.